Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Now before we get into it today, I want to say a big thank you to today's sponsor, which of course is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative and curious people to get lost exploring new skills and deepen existing passions. There are thousands of classes to choose from, ranging from photography, crafts, productivity, and so much more. The classes vary to fit your schedule and skill level, with most classes being under 60 minutes. Recently took Jessica Cabosi's photography class, Portrait Photography, How to Shoot and Edit Instagram Worthy Shots. Now, if you're not on Instagram, it does not matter at all. I loved this class. Jessica went through her whole creative process, how she kind of plans out her shoots, how to make the most of colouring in a shoot, how to pose with your model. And I just found it so interesting and so helpful as someone who loves portrait photography but has been out of the game uh, for about 18 months now because of the pandemic. It is so good to kind of watch this and just get excited about photography again and portrait photography in particular. As you guys know, I love portrait photography. It's something I've done a lot in the past. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. For a summer offer, they're actually offering the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box, a free one month trial of the premium membership. So you can start exploring your own creativity straight away. A big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it. Welcome back to another video. This is a very exciting one. Me and Alan are doing a staycation in London. We're going to be staying at the Ned, which is a very, very iconic hotel in Bank. We've never stayed there before. We're so excited about it. Um, but to start off our little staycation, we are heading to Borough Market. So we've come on the tube on the District Line to Monument, which uh, the monument is behind me. I showed you that guys earlier. It's massive. Um, and yeah, we're in the city heading over London Bridge and we're going to go to Borough Market which is a market that's been around for really like a thousand years. It started at the base of London Bridge um, and then moved I think in like 1750 something to the location it's at now. Um, it's a huge food market with loads of things to try um, and a great spot if you're in the area and if you're in London it's definitely something worth coming to. Super hot today, you can just tell how sunny it is. I think it's gonna peak 30 degrees. But yeah, we're gonna have a good day. Let's get on it. So we're currently heading over London Bridge now. You can see this massive building here, that's the Shard. That's the latest London kind of, is it a landmark? Yeah. That's the newest one, I think. So on the other side of London Bridge, you can see Tower Bridge. I think people get confused and think that's London Bridge because it is so iconic. But that's Tower Bridge, which leads to the Tower of London. And this one's London Bridge. It is not as nice looking, um, but still famous bridge, London Bridge, isn't it? Yeah. So you can pay for tickets to head up to the top of the Shard to get really good views of London. But a place that I would actually recommend to go for free is the top floor decking of the Tate Modern Museum. Um, it's free, you just the entry is free to get in the museum, go to the lifts, head up to the top floor decking and then you'll get a view of all of London as well. And that is definitely a top tip. and they do all German beers, German drinks, so we're going to get a Fitz Cola and Alan's going to look for a beer as well. They have so many on offer here. Yeah. No, it's the same. 
to the river. Much quieter area here. Um, and there's little like blocks that you sit on. Um, Cause it is, it is mayhem in the market. It's a Saturday, so of course it's going to be. But just such a great spot to come and get food. Um, I'm sorry if I have food in my teeth. Um, we've just eaten, it was delicious. So I got three tacos from that tacos place. And then Alan got a shawarma wrap and we got a bao classic pork bun each because we can't pass a bao without getting a classic bun. They are amazing. And now we're going to kind of just have some water, enjoy the view of the river, which I'm going to head over there now. And then we're going to go get some ice cream because it's the weather for it. I genuinely feel like I'm on holiday. It's like, it's just gorgeous. It's so nice having a holiday in your city. Such a nice, refreshing break especially you know the year and a half we've all had super repetitive this is new and exciting so I thought we could give you a little bit of um, tourist information that building here this one is the walkie-talkie and I think it's also called the cheese grater even though the one behind looks like the cheese grater so maybe that's the cheese grater but Alan thinks that this is the cheese grater and the walkie-talkie in London we nickname all our buildings we also have the gherkin which, which yeah it's just behind and that's because it looks like a gherkin obviously these buildings have official names i'm surprised we actually call the shard the shard not something else i mean it is a shard but still we've got to love our gherkin and walkie talkie and cheese grater um you know buildings and then this bridge here that's london bridge um obviously we all know london bridge fell down got rebuilt and more brutalist in style, I would say. It's definitely not got the same kind of architecture as other bridges. Um, like Millennium Bridge um, is, if you guys have seen Harry Potter, Millennium Bridge is the one that they kind of fly over and destroy in Harry Potter. It's Millennium Bridge is, um, maybe I'll insert a picture here actually. That came out in 2000 and then they had to, they made it, they built it for the millennium and then they had to close it for a while because it was wobbly. But supposedly now it doesn't wobble in a dangerous way, though if you're on it on a windy day you can feel a tiny bit of a wobble. And then if we face you this direction you've got some pools which you can see there. And then to the right, if you were going to go along the river you'd get to Tower Bridge, Tower of London. Actually I think, yeah you can see a little bit of the Tower of London here. Yeah. If I position you guys just about can you see oh my finger's just a bit too big this building here is Tower of London so we just picked up some ice cream I've already bitten my cone thingy from three biz and that's how it's called this looks so good I've just tried some I got peanut butter and it's got chocolate chips in it, honestly, tastes amazing. And Alan got the um, panna cotta. And it looks like it's got caramel swirls in it. Um, but it's kind of, you might, you're going to lose some on the side there. Oh, shit. Sure. Um, okay. And it's got melted chocolate at the bottom. It's like so good. Okay, post lunch at Borough. We're now in Bank. We just walked here. It's like an 18 minute walk. And we are on our way to the Ned. Very exciting. You can see here, this is bank. So this is where all the gold of England is kept. And the area is named after it. Yeah, good idea. love visiting this city so the city of London is actually counted as the city of London and then if you go to like the West End that's London town um, and they have a different police um, kind of force within the city of London as well I think that's the Ned yeah that is it oh it's hot it's really hot God, it's beautiful on the outside. Are we crossing? Uh, let's go at the traffic light, maybe. Okay, sure. It's better. Oh, I'm so excited, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at this. So I think this is a five-star hotel. 
definitely a luxury option of somewhere to stay in London but we thought we'd treat ourselves seeing as you know like most of you there's been no holidaying nothing we're actually just going to pop to a shop down there before we head in but you can see the outside here with the London cabs and then there's I think they're puppies what? the puppies in the window Oh my gosh, we've arrived. I feel like I've got major imposter syndrome. I don't belong here at all, but it is amazing. We've really treated ourselves. We got the large room and it is incredible. So you walk in the doors just behind me and there's this little station here, which has a chair, kind of like a little vanity area. And they've got some cow shed sanitizer. This whole hotel is um, linked with cow shed. They have a cow shed spa here um, and all cow shed products. And then just here is a really big cupboard. That's the main room area, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, because there's an amazing feature in there, which I cannot wait to dive into. But just on the right here is the bathroom. Absolutely gorgeous, look at this sink. And here I am. I've already taken my skirt off because it is very hot today. But you can see just cow shed products everywhere. Beautiful, beautiful sink. And then the shower, more cow shed products. A loofah pad. The shower head is huge, cannot wait to have like a waterfall shower there. And then we've got all these bits and bobs as well, which is what you would expect in a five star hotel. And um, we've even got a deodorant, Marvis toothpaste, as a dental kit, razor, shower cap, earplugs, nail file. Um, yeah, they've got so much here. And then little small face cleanser, shaving cream. That's marvellous mouthwash. Really, really good. And then when you come in the main room, you can see the bed is huge, absolutely amazing. There is a mirror here. And then we've got a little sofa, another seating area over there. And then this is the best thing I've ever seen, a bath, a bath in the room. And you can swivel the TV out. So after I filmed this, I, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I'm getting straight in the bath. It is a really hot day. But we can enjoy outside in London anytime. We have never stayed here before and this is like a real treat. We're not going to be doing this again anytime soon. Although, you know, potentially we can try for our two year wedding anniversary in December because this is just so luxurious and just incredible. There I am again. I just cannot believe this. This is heavenly. Yeah, so this is just absolutely incredible. Such an amazing treat, just um, something so special we really wanted to stay at a hotel for our one year wedding anniversary six months ago but because of covid we couldn't because we were still in lockdown then um or we were in tier four or something then so this is amazing definitely something we want to do more for special occasions but for today it's just a really really wonderful treat upgrading to the large room was the best decision because it means we got a bath and yeah just gonna really relax and unwind uh we'll give you a tour of um, kind of downstairs in the lobby later on. There's so many different restaurants here, they're really famous for that. And they have live music, which is already going on now, and it's about probably 3.30, so I think they might have that all day and all evening. And apparently they have like bands coming in the evenings and people can like book um, to come, and apparently the queues get really long outside they know to come in. Um, but yeah, just an amazing thing. I'm so, so happy to be here, I cannot wait to relax. And then we'll come back to you later and show you downstairs but for now we're gonna really unwind and enjoy this special treat i am in full relaxation spa mode i think this is the soho house dressing gown and slippers that they um also have here we also have all this bar area so we've got different alcohol um cups like glasses tea coffee water teacups here so i think the tea and water is complimentary but that anything else is extra like the alcohol and the mini fridge would be extra um and there's like i think an espresso machine here got tea bags very nice and the lights keep doing this like dimming thing which is lovely bath was a 15 out of 10 best bath i've actually ever had in my entire life Oh, and how many pillows? It's literally 
two bibs. Can we get this many bibs? When we have our, like, when we buy somewhere, can we get a bed this big? But without the bottom bed. Yeah. I feel like, you know, the princess and the pea. Mm -hmm. But instead of all of the mattresses, I've got all of the pillows. Oh, this is so good. Okay, we've finally got dinner plans. We're going to try Amelia's pasta. We're going to get Deliveroo because both restaurants in Oldgate and St. Catherine's Docks are fully booked this evening. But they deliver on Deliveroo, which is great. So we'll just get it delivered to the net and then meet them downstairs. Fingers crossed this is going to work because the pasta looks amazing. And Amelia's pasta is meant to be one of the best in London as well. As the, um, what was it called? Padella. Okay. Padella, that other pasta place. Yeah. yeah, that place is meant to be amazing too. But um, yeah, really in the mood for pasta now. So we're going to order that. Right, we're out of our robes, dressed again, haven't managed to get the slips off yet, but my shoes are by the door, so I'll swap them over then. We're going to pop to Tesco's across the street to get evening snacks, chocolate, things to watch a movie with, and then pick up our pasta from the delivery guy. I know. the whole way in and out of the net so really safe that way hand sanitizer everywhere everyone's wearing masks and walking around the hotel feels super clean super safe in there and um, the restaurants and the bar it's like all spaced out nicely i tried to get some stealth clips of downstairs it's very busy now but you could see i'll put the clips here of some of the um restaurants and the bar area and where the live music is might be a bit wobbly because like i said i was trying to be stealth um but yeah now we're heading back to the front uh, to go to Tesco's, get our snacks and then have our pasta which I can't wait for. Yeah, he's not here yet. Such a beautiful evening this evening. Look at that over there. The City of London Magistrates Court. Can you guys see it? Such old buildings around here. London City is definitely a mix of like old and new. You can see just how old those buildings there look, and then even this one. And then if I pan around, you can see the um, walkie-talkie there. And just how it contrasts with the old buildings of the city and of Bank. It's still really hot, wow. Isn't it? Oh my goodness, this is like pasta heaven. So we got it from Amelia's. Just delivered it to downstairs. This looks so good. I'm excited about this. The pasta is so thick, you can really tell it's fresh, like homemade pasta. Like freshly mm. made pasta, you know, today. Mm. The thing is, this has traveled to us. Imagine it when it's not. Exactly. This is really good. Mm. Mm. It's always got a kick to it. Mm. It's a bit peppery. Mm. Would you want to live around here? It's, it's a bit busy, isn't it? Mm. It's nice to visit. Mm. Would you? I do quite like it around here, but... Yeah, it's, the, the city's amazing. Like, but it just takes your breath away. The thing is, like... Imagine in the week. It's really busy, yeah. Although... And the weekend is... Well, now, uh, people work from home. If, like, the whole landscape of business changes and it it doesn't you know it adapts to being online even when there isn't a pandemic yeah they might have to turn like do you think they'll turn office spaces into apartments maybe but i don't think so i think a lot of people want to go back to how it was before because i think a lot of people are fed up with working from home yeah but won't it save companies a lot of money not paying rent yeah that's true but then maybe how many how many people are being having to go off sick because mentally they can't cope anymore, you know? I think a, a hybrid approach is the best. 
work at home and work sometimes in the office. Yeah. I think that's the best option. Maybe like big meetings go in. Yeah. The meaty sauce is so nice. Mm. The pasta is so long. I didn't know your pasta was like that. Huh? Mm. Did you? Mm -hmm. This definitely has a kick to it. That's pretty yeah. Your bolognese with a twist has a kick. Mm -hmm. But my bolognese is just a classic bolognese. Yeah, when I saw the bolognese on the menu, I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Where did you say the bottle opener is? Around there? Around there. Uh -huh, cool. It looks like they've also got. Oh, that's probably for like. They've got a grater down there, probably if you're, you need to put some citrus or something into your mm. cocktail. Did you see that room? Yeah, with the. Yeah, the they drinks. got like a whole drinks cocktail kit delivered mm. to their room. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine getting like a large room and having like a hen? But yeah. you would need a bigger room than this. Yeah. This is so good. I remember when the net opened. Do you? you? Yeah. I don't know if I do, remind me. Yep. It's like Mr. Porter would always like send me emails about the Ned. Oh. The opening, how it's like this new hotel. When was that? 2017. Gosh, it's very young. Yeah. And it's already made so much traction. Mm hmm. Okay, it's the next morning. We've come to Millie's for breakfast. Um, Millie's is like classic English, that's how they describe the food here and they've got the bar there and then round the corner they've got all these like lush pink seats which look gorgeous. I imagine having afternoon tea here would be really really nice, we missed the time of it yesterday though. Um, obviously got our masks on as you can see from Alan there. But yeah we can take them off now. So there's really nice piano music playing in the background as well and this is definitely a luxury hotel experience which you know it should be, it's a five star luxury hotel. Um, but just so nice here and like you can see the really high ceilings and the lights and the big windows um, and you could just book into the restaurant if you wanted like a really nice kind of breakfast experience this is the menu this kind of reminds me of you know when we went to the hotel in New York just for breakfast though yeah our foods arrived I went for the half English which comes with beans and then I got fried eggs toast Side of bacon, side of sausages. We also got pancakes and bacon. We've got a coffee, um, and I think that we may be full for the rest of the day. <laughs> so after breakfast, we're actually heading to the toilets on the um, lower ground floor because apparently they've got really good design. But I just want to show you guys this. So the Ned is an old bank, and you can see they've kept these details here, which is really cool. And it's all like a one-way system. So let's have a look around. Uh -huh, the ladies is over here, the gentleman is that way, and the parlour, ooh. How does this door work? There we go. <laughs> ladies. Okay, the coast is clear, no one's in here. You can see how they look. Really beautiful sink stations. A nice pink color in here, these chairs. And then the cubicles all through there. And then again, all of the products are cow shed. Wow, this is so cool. You guys, if you watch my videos, you know I love anything old and history. I just uh, just adore it. It just fascinates me. But here is the old vault. Isn't that incredible? This is the original vault. Like, that is a vault. It's real. And you can see where it fits in over here. It's just amazing. So it says, the vault is closed. But thank you for understanding. Aha, uh -huh, they've put like a little seating area and kind of like a bar in there. That's amazing. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see on camera, but all around the edges there are these little deposit boxes. And then, look, they've put some glass over the top of the vault here, obviously because they're not using it as a vault. That is amazing. It's like thick steel. Have you seen this, Alan? 
This is the vault. How cool is that? And it's got like a passcode on the door. This is like proper steel. This is so cool. I've never seen one of these before. This is the benefit of being in bank. So cool. It's even got the old manufacturer's name there. Chatwood. So cool. Right guys, that is a wrap on this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it ended quite abruptly, but we basically saw the vault and then we went upstairs, packed up our stuff, and then we went home for the day. It was so relaxing. Like if ever you're kind of giving yourself like a real treat or have the opportunity to stay at the Ned, we only stayed for one night, but it was so wonderful. I would definitely recommend it. Um, just a really beautiful hotel. But of course you don't have to stay at a hotel like that to really enjoy and experience London. It was, like I said, a treat and a very special one. But there are great places to stay all over London. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of any just because I live here. I don't often stay in hotels in London um, unless it's a treat like this, which it really was. Um, but yeah, if any of you have recommendations for people on where to stay in London, uh, in terms of hotels or accommodation, please leave it in the comments. I'm sure lots of people will appreciate that and can make notes of it for whenever you can plan the trip. Um, as always, anywhere we went to or anything I mentioned will be listed in the description box. So you can kind of use that as a tool for planning your own trips to London or visiting um, where you can kind of see it written down where we went and like remind yourself of places through that. But yeah. I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any requests of places for us to go in the future, please let me know. And if you like these kind of videos of seeing really special places in London, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I do vlogs around London all the time. A couple of vlogs back, I did a video um, visiting Sketch for afternoon tea, which was a real 10 out of 10 amazing experience and one I would definitely recommend, again, for a special thing to do in London. Um, but yeah. That's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.